Hello and welcome to 21st Century. I'm Daljit Daliwal. Struggling to find jobs and hope for a secure future, many young people are leaving Tajikistan, the former Soviet Republic in Central Asia. But some are determined to find a new way forward, believing they now have a chance to build democratic traditions in their country. Tajikistan, in the heart of Central Asia, the poorest former Soviet Republic and also one of the youngest, with 70% of the population under 30. Now a simple truth is beginning to make a difference. When given the confidence and the chance to voice their concerns, young Tajiks are stepping forward, eager to help their nascent republic succeed. In a few days, 27-year-old Farhad Jaborov, 20-year-old Parviz Kafizoda, and 19-year-old Mubarak Rustamazoda, along with 63 other youth leaders, for the first time will publicly debate issues that matter to them. All with the hope that the government, unpracticed in free speech, is ready to listen. It's a fragile opportunity to push forward democratic expression. Mubarak lives in Kalob city in Katlon province, which shares a porous border with Afghanistan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. She's studying to become an English teacher in Kalob State University. Okay. Who's ready just now? If someone's ready, please hands up. Mubarak? من یک چیزی بهترین رو میخواستم که همه در ساحه معارف باشد برای پیش روی آن همه میخواستم که سیستم معارف دیگرگون شود For example, she is happy today She is It is simple sentence Today Independence for this country came with sacrifices One was the loss of Soviet funding of state institutions which devastated the quality of education, especially in the rural areas where 85% of the population live. When the Soviet Union fell, a rise in Islamic fundamentalism led to a five-year civil war that ended in 1997. The secular government which emerged is still uneasy about the potential of Islamic radicalism, so some measures were put in place, such as no religious schools for boys, no attending mosques or beards under the age of 18, and for girls, no full head coverings in school. Mubarak feels these restrictions prohibit many girls from continuing their education. ولی آنها از جهت اقتصادی تاشون پس بودن آنها تحصیلات خود را دوام نمیدن این چنین منتالیتی شرکی آنها داشتند وقتی که دخترون شایستیم فی نو میگیرن از مکتب آنها رو با شوهر میدن آنها با زندگی مستقلانه تیار نیست باید که حکومت جمهوری هم مقاماتو که وزیفه دار هستن کوشش کنن که همون دختران دسترسی با معارف داشته باشن شما فهمیدین که لیدر کی بوده استاید همه دونین که که لید Mubarak was trained in social outreach and women's rights by a local organization called Youth of the 21st Century, which receives financial support and guidance from the UN Democracy Fund. Their focus is on helping young people have a voice in the way their country is run. Mubarak now passes on what she's learned to other girls, hoping to inspire them to pursue their education and seek a bigger role in their country's future. البته و شما خودتون با باوری کامل گفته می توانید که شما هم در آینده راهبر شده می توانم کدام مشکلی ها هستن که صدی راه دختران می شن برای خوندن در باره من فقط می کنم که خیلی دختر چه با عقل با تمیز داره دختران دختر ها مخصوصا حتمی باید بشه که می سال می گیرن در آینده محتاجی که پس نشه خودشون خودشون راهبری کرده توانند In the capital Dushanbe, a lack of resources combined with corruption 
has resulted in an acute housing shortage, sending real estate prices skyrocketing and making living in the city unaffordable for young Tajiks. Farhad teaches international law at Tajik State Commercial University in Dushanbe. But despite his job, is unable to afford the high price of an apartment for his young family. With his wife and newborn son, they now live outside the city in Sharora village with his mother and his brother's family. Both his brother and his father have been forced to go abroad to find work with a decent wage to support their families. He hopes he won't have to follow them. In the last 20 years, the rate of people migrating to Russia has risen sharply as both men and women, laborers and educated, leave to seek work. With few natural resources and little industrial development, nearly half of Tajikistan's GDP comes from remittances sent home by migrant workers like this young man and woman, which many families depend on. But the young people who remain in Tajikistan are faced with low wages and high unemployment. And with 35% of Tajikistan's population between the ages of 14 and 30, youth development is a priority for Malik Shonamatov, chairman of the Committee on Youth Affairs. <laughs> Umad Oligov runs the Youth of the 21st Century Leadership Program, which has trained both Farhad and Mubarak. The goal is to motivate young people to become active in building democracy. Не суть важно, что мы проводим эти семинары. Мы главное добиваемся того, что люди раскрываются, понимают что они могут принимать участие в процессе принятия решений. Как это работа нет, кадры, как говорится, есть. Многие A prominent student in this group is Pavis Kafizoda, who studies at the Russian Tajik University. He's completed the youth of the 21st century's leadership program. Я не являюсь членом никакой партии, потому что у меня либеральные взгляды на все. У нас в Таджикистане нет либеральных партий, поэтому в дальнейшем, может, в будущем я организую эту партию с либеральным взглядом на будущее. Создаю партию, мы будем говорить о проблемах экономики, проблемах миграции, проблемах, которые именно касаются молодежи. Но свою культуру и свои идеалы они забывают при этом.
Я, я сам верю, что если так дальше будут молодые люди активно участвовать в таких сферах жизни, мы можем изменить Таджикистан. Активист, как говорится, во всем, что дало мне стимул того, что я могу все. With the help of the Tajik government and the UN Democracy Fund, youth of the 21st century started the first national debate center, a youth forum, where 63 elected youth leaders from universities and youth groups all over the country who have been trained in public debating will come together for the first time to have an open dialogue with a government official on how best to solve the problems facing their country. <laughs> Farkojon. <laughs> دولت برنامه های را تهیه و تطبیق نماید که برای شهروندان اما جوانون را به منزل استفامت تامین نمودن ولی اگر که همین مکتب ها دولتی باشند از سبای بی پس بودن این موزید آید همین سخنانه گفته که تحصیلات به صفت است یک چند سخنانه گفته خوب می شود آمدن که خیلی مومیدن محکومات هایی که باید فضا کرده که چون دگیان Though patience is needed to decipher regional dialects, they're able to discover common ground. <laughs> Jurav Kabir John Karim Jonovich, the first deputy of the Committee on Youth Affairs, has come to hear what the youth leaders have to say. It's a groundbreaking event. And it's their first chance to put the debating skills they've learned from the youth of the 21st century leadership program to the test. مثلا بیشتر همه خیلی امکانیت نمیشد برای جوانان که یک اون کس از حکومت آید اومده همین پرابلیم های خود رو رو برو بحث کنند و حل نمویند و این برای ما شانسی بهترین بود These young people are bravely speaking up for their generation These are uncharted waters for the young leaders who must find their way to delicately navigate this open exchange with a government previously out of reach one young leader challenges the law, requiring two years of mandatory military service. Although questions remain unanswered, this is a big step for a country where freedom of speech has not been valued. Молодые люди так очень резко говорят, это очень хорошо, потому что а это говорит о том, что они не застыли, они не стоят на одном месте. Соответственно, говорит о том, что они хотят развиваться. و مرکز ملی جوانان ما جوانان رو از هر یک نوحیه و ویلایت ها و شهر ها جمع و و ما با هم دیگر کار میکنیم و این برای ما یک قدم پیشروی خوب تر است برای چی؟ برای که وطن رو ما عباد میکنیم که عباد میکنند ما طاقت میکنیم این در کمین منز فاهود، پاویز و مبارک ویل درافت پروپوزل فر ریفورمز در پارلمنت young pioneers laying the foundation for a stronger democracy for the next generation.